Rose Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to First Rose Morning Show. Today's guest is very known troll Eric Douglas, who agreed to tell us a few things about his trolling saga. Well, good morning, Eric. Why did you choose Justin Bieber's haters as your trolling target? Did you do some kind of research or did you just dive into it? I chose Justin Bieber haters as my trolling target because number one, Justin Bieber is a he's a very hot topic of discussion. He's always ninety percent of the time he's on the front page of Twitter. Secondly, there at the moment there is a plethora of uh, Justin Bieber haters, and most of them. Uh, uh, if you look at the demographic, they're, they're adolescents, and basically they're the ones who really, when you think about it, that they have a lot of power on YouTube. They control what videos are on the front page, and so on and so on. So uh, I kind of knew that this whole thing would create a lot of controversy because I was trying to take advantage of that specific group of people. I knew they'd respond to the character I was portraying, and I knew they would respond to the message my character was trying to get across. So, that's all I really needed to know. Um, also, just from personal experience, I know Justin Bieber is a... Like, without even doing any research, I already knew that Justin Bieber is a very controversial topic, and messing around with the whole idea would, would, would generate a lot of publicity. And it did. It did. What did you think about your followers in the time when you were actively trolling? Well, I don't really think much of them. I know that even though they fell for the character I was portraying, the character I was acting as, I don't really have any negative feelings towards them. I know that a lot of cool, likable people actually fell for this thing, but I'm not going to say anything more on that. I, I, I think that people who are following me felt that someone needed to take a stand somehow against the haters and they obviously felt that I would do something about that but I feel personally regardless of whether I did follow up on my threats or not it wouldn't have actually done anything to the people hating on Justin Bieber it probably would have just made matters worse made the haters angrier and yeah to be honest I, I have nothing much to say about my followers how many people do you think knew you were just throwing prior to releasing my second video i believe that a very small percentage maybe 0.2 percent at the most even merely, merely suspected i was a troll then after that um after i've released my second video a lot of people started recognizing that i had put jacks films one in that video and jacks films one of course was a is a known youtube troll was i should say a known youtube troll and um Basically, that 0.2% that suspected I was a troll escalated to about, I'd say, 4%. Um, from that point onward, that 4% of people out of all my viewers, uh, of course, started spreading the, the belief, started propagating the fact that I may indeed be messing around. They started spread uh, showing... Um, Josh YouTubers old videos. They started telling people that I was I was uh, I, I was I was doing this with a known troll. I was uh, this saga was done on behalf of myself and a known troll. And I guess then from that point onward, um, a lot of people picked up on that idea. So I'd say out of all the viewers that viewed my video in between me releasing my second video and me releasing my third video, only about eight percent had the idea I was just messing around. Then after releasing my fourth video. I think that a lot of people started picking up on the fact that I was being inconsistent with what I was saying and so on and so on and I guess I guess I guess that eight percent escalated to about ten percent. And then of course my Encyclopedia Dramatica article and a few other articles on different websites stated that I was I was a troll and then and then um I guess people started picking up on that and before admitting I was a troll and before being exposed only about at the most, 15 to 20 percent knew I was just screwing around. What do you think about people who are just trying to copy you? I think they're schmucks, I think they're losers, I think they're unoriginal, not creative. They are, of course, essential qualities for a good troll to have. You need to be creative, you need to have ideas for your videos, you need to know how to set people off. But the people that are trying to copy me, I'm not going to name anybody, they're just basically ripping off my ideas nearly completely and molding it to fit their, their needs. My belief is that there is a fine line between 
being inspired by somebody and copying somebody. Of course, I feel that there are a lot of YouTube trolls who will be inspired by what I have done and who will go on to supersede what I have done. But all in all, the, the, the schmucks that are copying me, they have no chance because automatically, I mean, I'm seeing videos like Declaration of War Against Atheists. If, if someone puts that phrase Declaration of War in their videos, that phrase has been associated to, to me, and people know I'm a troll. So, of course, they stand no chance, and also, they're ruining their reputation in the future if they want to go on a trolling saga, because people will associate them to being a troll. You know, once something's on the internet, you can't take it off, you can't do anything, and yeah. So, if you're going to troll, be original. Don't, 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 don't swipe ideas, don't steal ideas, don't steal concepts off other people. Be inspired by them, but do not copy them. That's what I have to say. When you had war with Life in a Tent, did you expect him to behave differently, or was he predictable? Well, Life in a Tent, I, I knew roughly how he was going to react. I didn't know exactly how he'd react. He was a big part in the entire war. He's... His camp has actually made me famous, and thanks a lot, Life in a Tent, you stupid schmuck. He he played a big part in this war. Now, I, I got him a lot of subscribers. You know, he his viewers did comment on my videos. That sort of, I suspect that his viewers played a huge role in getting my YouTube video on the front page for several days. Also, Outback Zach as well. I guess I did act to provoke him. I didn't know exactly what he was going to do in return. I didn't know that he was going to release the video of me being beaten or whatever. He did He did act in accordance to how I would have wanted him to act if this situation was played out again. Basically, I think I trolled him pretty good. I, 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 I trolled him and his stupid little campers flawlessly, nearly flawlessly, almost flawlessly. Do you think you were enriched by this experience? Yes, yes, yes. I've made several very good friends from this experience. I've met several people in real life who've recognized me. I've developed a friendship with these people um, also. I have a lot of resources at my disposal from people who, who support me, of course. Um, I have connections to some pretty savvy YouTubers. I, th I guess they're good assets to have. Um, but mainly, I have learned several um, good life lessons. One of which is to always be skeptical, never give away your true motive if it's ugly. To anyone, in fact. Only the people who you really trust. Of course, I didn't want to give away, give away the fact I was a troll, but, you know, I sort of I sort of got cocky during this whole experience and started telling people. That was a big mistake. That was a very big mistake. Also, I think that this experience has vastly sharpened my acting skills. But that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, so I've gotten friends, got resources I can use, got connections, and sharpened my acting skills. Thank you for answering my questions and good luck on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Please like and comment this video and please subscribe for more. My name is Voljang and this was Stroll's Morning Show. Stay safe under the YouTube bridge. Stroll's Morning Show.